Ooh, kind of chilly. Kind of chilly in here. So, <clears throat> all right, day two. We got this place cleaned up yesterday. Um, I'm here by myself today. Uh, I have to rent. I, I went down and secured an excavator uh, to rent in a couple days from now to finish up some of these electrical projects. I have to put a ground rod in. I'm going to dig down, and then I'm also going to kind of a fun project we're going to do is there's a fire pit. I'll show you in a little bit. I don't think I've ever showed anybody that, but it's a metal, a big giant steel bowl that we're going to use, and we're going to put a fire pit out front, uh, kind of down the hill a little bit and level out a pad. So I'm going to rent an excavator in a couple of days to get that done, but today my goal is to get warm, first thing, start a fire. It's kind of cold. It's been raining a lot. Uh, it's a nice day right now, actually. It's kind of, it's kind of, um, kind of on and off, but uh, I'm going to basically get a little fire going, get this place warmed up, and then I'm going to start laying out my solar panel stuff. Um, I'm kind of watching where the sun goes, and I think what I'm going to do is just lay these panels out front for now, and then maybe mount them up a little higher just to get some sun. In the wintertime, the sun's really low, and it actually kind of goes around the front. I've seen other people's solar panels in this area, and they just mount them straight to the side of their uh, house. And I think the reason is is because we get so much sun. Uh, we're kind of northern area of the United States here, and, and we just the, the sun kind of goes around us. So um, I'm going to see. I'm just going to keep kind of keep an eye on that today. Uh, but I'm going to start laying out the stuff. Got the batteries already. Everything's in here. It's ready to go. I'm just going to start putting it together, and then I'm going to have to punch a couple holes in here and uh, figure out where to put the the, the solar panel line in but I'm glad I got some extra length for those panels because I think I'm going to just run that wire all the way around it and then hook it up out here somewhere. So I'm going to see how it works. I'm going to get it set up and see if I can get some power to this place. Um, right now I'm running off a generator. I got a light going. Uh, there's a noise back there. I'm charging a couple of uh, Makita batteries and, uh, and that's about it. So I'm going to get this fire going, get warmed up. This is one of my favorite things about being up here is getting this fire started. We live in a house now with a gas fireplace, and so um, it's always fun to come back and do this um, as part of the routine and just kind of get things warmed up. But we're going to get going here and get this thing lit off, my favorite part. Here we go. Whoop, not yet. Here we go. It's not as convenient with this uh, baby gate around, around it, but... Well, kids are kind of small still, and this thing's sort of a small stove. I just don't want somebody, you know, falling over and landing on it. It's just that wouldn't be good. So we're going to run this, uh, keep this gate up for a while. It takes up a lot of space, but it's uh, a good trade-off for somebody, you know, instead of getting some kid burned. Let's get these batteries out of their boxes here. Heavy. These are about 80 pounds a piece. inlet right there see so I'm gonna to have to cut this wire and I'm gonna to have to tie that into my inverter the inverter is gonna be probably pretty low here so I just got to figure this out now um, I'm probably gonna put maybe I'll put this board yeah I'll just make a I'll make a board to fit in here and I'll just have to kind of figure this all out as I go it's been a while since I've done this but look it doesn't get any easier than that so I can access this panel this wire is hot right now so I'm not gonna to touch anything uh, I'm going to figure out, gosh, I'd really like to mount that inverter inside this wall, but I just don't think I'll be able to do that. There's not enough room. It'd be nice to have it all hidden back there, but I have to kind of figure this out. So I'm going to get the, the components laid out right now and, and uh, see what I got. Let's bust into the inverter. Get all the stuff laid out right here. charger, trip charge, top of the batteries if need be, 20 more feet, solar cable, 
all of my wiring that I already pre-wired and had everything set up. That's going to be handy. Here's my battery interconnect. Fuse for the solar cable. Uh, what else we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, that's another 150 amp, just in case I blow something up and short it out. Uh, this is a another fuse, which I don't. 20 amp. So I need to put a, a 20 amp chart fuse on this, but I, I haven't. Uh, Got that worked out, so I just got to be kind of careful with that. Pure sine wave and power. Okay. Yeah. I have long enough cable to run these outside, and I just haven't built a box. So if I have time, I'll build a box and put it outside. Knowing me, I won't have time. So, so let's see. Then we got that right there so that's the switch for the inverter this is for the charge controller positive side okay so this is going to go up to my charge controller wherever i mount it i think i'm going to mount it like kind of up here you know by the uh by the box here i think that'd be a good place to do it and then i'll have to come in with the panels somewhere nice. I gotta figure that out yet. I don't know yet. It's gonna it's gonna be awesome, I'm sure. I'm gonna figure out a good spot. So let's go ahead and hook this all up at the same time rather than doing it over again. key here is simple guys don't make it complicated I, I don't know a whole lot about this I talked you know I had called this this company up and they gave me some pointers for what kind of breakers and stuff to use and so I did that and just get everything nice here um, yeah that'll work. make sure these are good and tight okay let's put the other interconnect on there Right here, parallel system. So we're running 12 volts only, not 24, just 12. Gotta remember to not hook up anything backwards or let these things connect now it's live. It's not gonna hurt me, but it, it could make a Make a lot of fireworks here if we're not careful. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'm going to put in advice uh, somebody else's idea here. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. I'm going to run my negative, so positive on this side, negative off this battery right here. I think that's a fair idea. I think that's not a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to tape this in just because I don't want it to touch anything. There. Now we're safe. Perfect. We'll run that. It's a good idea, I think. Let's run that on here. Oh, don't do that, folks. Let's go direct on there. I know some people start out with really bad batteries, you know, like these <clears throat> these flooded types and they get good deals on them and everything like that. That's that's fine. I mean, you can do that. Um, batteries are really expensive, and but they're the main part of your system. So you know, I'm probably going to add. I think somebody said, you know, I need two more. That's fine. I can add two more next year, and I'm I'm just going to get kind of a baseline. But I can always add a couple more. You know, if, if you don't wait too long, and start, you know, wearing them out and and they won't balance and all that kind of stuff. But I figure if I wait like a year or something, it should be okay, or maybe a few months. 
Um, okay, so charger, I, th I think the same theory applies, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, the charger on the opposite so we get like a nice effect here. I don't know if that's necessary, but it doesn't really matter. You might as well do it. It should evenly charge these batteries then. I'm gonna put a tape on this one too. And then, I'll, then I'll mount my charger. All right. Cool. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna make it go out this way so I can go up to my charger. So I'm gonna have to get some rings uh, to put on here in between. I got a fuse. I don't have that uh, mounted yet. So let's, let's run that over. The system goes like that. Right there. Lift those. All right. Make it to where it doesn't come out. I don't go crazy, but you got to get that thing in there tight. I, when I was testing it, I had it where they fell out of there. <clears throat> they can handle a little bit of stress. So, all right. Now we're gonna go positive side here. Go up here somewhere. I'm gonna probably put this up. I could probably mount this right now, just to hear, just to get an idea, you know, where that goes. I'd really like to mount it somewhere, probably like right here. That'd probably be a good spot. So I gotta cut a piece of wood here to go in, but that'd be a nice spot for it, I think. Kind of right in line with the power. I don't, I don't know if there's any taboo stuff about that, but <clears throat> looks fine to me. Um, for the time being, I think I might put a couple of screws in here and just set it there, just so I can get it up out of the way. Or maybe right there, I don't, I don't know. Hanging on a couple of them there. super light all right so now I can view it that's pretty cool you can see the controller light the battery lights on panel light is not on so I'm gonna go set up these panels really fast and I'm gonna make it I'm just gonna see if I can get any charge going I get the panels over here on the other side of the room I'm gonna get them out and just set them up really quick I got plenty of cable I can even run them out the front no problem it's really it's really nasty out there right now so it'd be interesting to see if we get any charge come on let's check it out Toasting in here. Let's see if he's made it through. All right. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. Looks undamaged. That's good. There's one. And there's the other one. Looks undamaged. Everything looks good. Got a rainstorm coming in here. Oh man, it's dumping. Looks like we got a hailstorm coming in. Oh yeah. Look how cool that looks out in the out in the valley down there. Sunshine coming in. Wow, you gotta see that. That's pretty cool. Check this out. You can see that in the in the video, but like. It's pretty cool, there's breaks in the clouds over there. I don't think this is gonna last forever, but we got a little bit of a thunderstorm coming here. It's blowing. Yeah, it's pretty much blowing right towards us. It's really cool looking, look at that. <clears throat> I was just gonna go hook these panels up, but this rainstorm, hailstorm came in, and I'm gonna wait a little bit just to make sure there's no lightning or anything like that. There could be very well be some lightning that comes along. We usually get some pretty crazy lightning storms up here. 
um, and it looks like I'm right under it. So I'm gonna wait it out for a few more minutes. It looks like it's a pretty fast moving storm. So I haven't seen any or heard any lightning yet, but if it does happen, we're gonna be right underneath it because there's a lot of dark clouds up there. So I'm gonna kind of wait and hang out in here for a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait this sucker out. It's no big deal. All right, looks like the storm's calmed down. Still raining a bit, but I don't see any, I don't see any lightning yet. It's pretty clear above me, so it's pretty rough over there, but I don't see anything over here yet. So I'm gonna kind of sneak out here and put these on. At least hang, at least just kind of set them out in front of the cab and see if we can get some juice flowing. So I'm just gonna set them like that for now. I'm gonna go get another one. Okay, that's where I'm gonna set them for now right out in front of the cabin here, just to see if I can get any juice flowing. So I'm gonna connect them up right now in series. I don't think it matters which one goes to what. Those are those two are connected. Um, I don't know which one's positive and which one's negative yet. I'm gonna have to find that out. Set the camera over here. I'm gonna go get my meter and check the positives and negatives and see if I'm right. 20 volts a panel, that's pretty darn good. So I'm gonna fuse this thing right now. So I'm gonna put my 10 amp positive fuse or 10 amp fuse on the positive side. Okay, so I just hook this fuse in, positive side. 